Welcome back to my backyard. You're not gonna believe this, but we actually haven't ridden the jump since last fall. I know a lot of you found our channel through our backyard videos, but we haven't done anything back here in a while. When we normally would have been tuning everything up and starting to ride it again, it kept snowing up in the mountains. So we got after it up there with some fun split boarding and good times on the snowmobile. Then when May rolled around and we would have started working back here, we headed out to Seth's house to check out the new ranger station and ride Berm Peak in Berm Park. Next thing we knew it was June, and instead of working on the yard then, we headed up to Alaska for a few weeks for some big adventures. The Alaska videos will be out in September, so definitely stay tuned for those, and if you're not subscribed, get on board. You don't wanna miss them. Now it's July, and hottest month of the year, <laughs> Finally, I decided to get it running. We have a big list of jobs to knock out to get these jumps rideable, and we're gonna get started up on the roll-in. So we built this about 10 years ago, and the sheeting, this plywood here, has kind of started to fall apart. So we gotta replace that first. What we're gonna have to do is take the railing off the side because most of the railing is built on top of the decking. So I'm gonna take that off, and then I can pull the plywood cut the holes with the jigsaw and replace the sheet and put it back on. Then it should be solid. Now we're at the sketchy part of the operation. There's no railing here anymore. So this is, I don't know, two stories down straight to the bottom. So I'm not looking to fall down there. Gonna be pretty careful now. We spend our whole lives trying not to break things. So when you get to rip things apart, it's actually kind of fun. There we go. All clear below. Bombs away. Step one, success. Time to get a new board in there. Wish me luck. <clears throat> Woo! That was a close call. I always use these deckmate screws because they have a T25 head, so they never strip out. It's just way better. I'm sick of stripping out screws when I replace things like this. Let's get this thing screwed in, get the railing back, and then move on to the rest so we can get done with this line. All right, we got this roll in resheated and it's back to being solid. There's no holes in it and should last for another 10 years. For a little backstory on this roll in, Kelly McGarry helped me build it and you know him as Magazza. He's an absolute legend. Flipped the huge jump at Rampage and uh, did tons of other stuff through his career. He since passed away and we miss him a lot every day. He was a big part of our family. The kids grew up with him. It was really special having him around a lot. He had a great quote regarding building jumps to ride and he'd always say, don't worry, we're not building the piano, we're building the box that holds it. As long as it's safe and it's solid, 
it's good to go. Thanks Kelly for helping uh, put this together and being a part of our lives. We miss you and think about you every day. And with that, let's get on down the line and get this stuff running. So there's one more thing we gotta do before we can move on from the roll-in. It's a pretty major safety issue. So we actually never built a handrail on the left side. It's kind of sketchy because you roll in from the side over here, you come around and you turn right and you go down and hit the jump. But if you miss that corner, it's a long way down. Now, I don't know about you, but I have no intentions of falling that far down straight to my face and I don't want my friends to either. So I'm gonna throw a handrail in and then we can move on. What are you up to, Milo? Just finding some plums to eat. That's pretty awesome. We got a bunch of food in the yard, isn't it? Yeah. They're small, but they're really, like, sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. Well, look at a bunch over here. The next step is getting the dirt ready between the roll-in and the first lips. So on the big line, the shape is pretty good. All I need to do is shave the weeds off, pack it, and water it. On Milo's line, we're going to change it up a little bit. Right now it's a double roller, which is a little more technical than it needs to be getting into the first jump. So we're gonna scrape the weeds and reshape the dirt and put it into a single roller, which will make it a lot more chill going from the roll-in into the first jump. Hey, a chicken pooped on here. <laughs> yeah. We do all this work and then that's the thanks they have. <laughs> yeah. We dig up all these worms for them. Yeah, and then they just poop all over it. Yeah. So, this is a roller. Yeah, it is. Nice work. <laughs> Thanks. Before we, like, pack it in and stuff, I think I should run over it and check it out before I finally pack it so I can feel how the shape is. I think that's a good idea because once you final pack it, it sucks to move it. What's up, Colonel? <laughs> Colonel Sanders in the house. How'd it feel? That was good. Do you think it's in the right place? Um, I think it's in the right place. Do you want to grab your helmet and give it a roll? Yeah. How is it? Feels pretty good. Should we pack it? Yeah, I think we should pack it. All right. We're getting a little bit of rain too. This is first rain in like a while. Yeah, feels good. Pretty glorious. Yeah. Trying out the big bike? Yeah. The pump track is so tiring when you don't do it all summer. Yeah. We've been out riding trails and now we're back to the pump track and it's a whole other animal, isn't it? Yeah. Post packing test ride? Yep. That felt so much better. When you used to go over the roller, you were all rushed and stuff. But now when you go over the roller, it's like nice and smooth and it gives you time to set up. Nice, so it's more chill. Yeah. You'll feel more comfortable going off this jump. Yeah. Ah! What? Oh man, hornet's nest under there. Oh, that hurt. What, they stung you? Yeah. Okay, taking off the tarps. Forgot to think about hornet's nests. Got stung, tried to run away, tripped, ran into the lip, shoulder checked it. That sucked. Oh man, there's nothing like getting chased out by a swarm of wasps though. That sucks. Oh. So I'm gonna spray that nest so we can get on with this project and get those out of the jumps. We can't have wasps in the jumps. I'm all for bees, big fan of bees. But wasps like that around public areas, not good. There you go. Look at that landing, that's beautiful. Tarping was a good call.
Found it, found it. Found another nest. I think I got lucky with that one. Get away from me. Survived the quarter pipe sting free, even though there are a couple nests there. And uh, so that's good. I'm gonna pull the rest of the tarps and then scrape the riding surface between the jumps and should be about ready to go then. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with tarping jumps. It really did preserve them. All I have to do is water these things and ride them. So all those videos I made last spring of rebuilding these jumps and stacking them up and packing them in, I don't have to do that every spring anymore as long as I put tarps on them before the winter or maybe before big storms. Everything is done now except for one thing. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll remember the tree that I cut down before the last jump in the big line. It's this Russian olive tree. We cut this thing down to the ground last year and it's back. I gotta take that out again, then it's time to session. New roller feels nice on the way up. Well, this will be my first time dirt jumping this year, which is always a little scary, and uh, doesn't matter what level you're at, your first time jumping doubles on a dirt jump bike with consequences is a little bit uh, nerve wracking, but it's always fun. You gotta rely on your confidence, know that you got it, and yeah, I'm gonna test out Milo's line first, see how it rolls. Oh, that first one was way smooth. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. Time for the big dogs. It's totally solid. There's no holes in it. I'll have to paint it though soon. So every year, up until now, I've gotten through this big line first run of the year. We'll see if it goes this time. I, I never, uh, never know, but I got confidence in myself and I'm ready for it. Always good to stretch out a little bit before you drop in. Here we go, this should be fun. Yeah! Oh, that's so fun. Best feeling ever. There's nothing like floating through the air like that. Those are some big, fun, floaty jumps. Got a 10 year streak now of getting through the jumps. First run of the year, every year. So I've got to keep that going as long as I can. I'm gonna ride a little bit more. That was a long, hard week of working back here and it was ridiculously hot, but we got it all running and they're so much fun. So I'm super pumped. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that and hit the notifications bell as well so you don't miss the future videos. We're gonna be doing a lot more fun stuff back here, including rearranging the water slides to make the ultimate backyard water slide course for bikes. And then in September, the Alaska videos are coming out and you really don't wanna miss those either. So anyway, I hope you guys all have an awesome week and we'll see you on the next adventure.